It's a blissfully calm morning. Perfect conditions for diving the largest coral reef in the Philippines. Now, you can't see most of it from up here, but down below is 34 square meters of reef, making it the second largest connecting coral reef in the world, right behind the Great Barrier Reef. But our time here is fleeting, cut short by the one force of nature even more formidable than the mighty ocean currents, bureaucracy. No matter how far we sail or how remote the destination, bureaucracy always finds a way to throw a wrench in our plans. But it's not just us. Every sailor has to navigate the choppy waters, paperwork, and permits of maritime bureaucracy. It's like a rite of passage to test our patience and our perseverance, to see if we're worthy of the destinations we desire. Whoa! Yes! Hi. So clear! Good job! It is 5.15 a.m. We are up with the fishermen this morning and I don't know if this is a good idea or a bad idea, but it is going to be an adventure either way. Got a bit of a visa emergency. And by that, he means our visas expire in three days. Doc's a little off this morning. And it's an emergency because our other attempts to renew have failed. Restaurant's not open. Carried those up last night. It's quite the hike up here. Straight up, a bunch of steps. And we had the bright idea, I guess Nikki had the bright idea to bring the bikes up last night so we could load them in the tender. No problem. Make sure they fit and get them up here. Look at that. You can sit right there. Perfect. And keep them from jiggling around too much. Okay, so this is Jason with the uh, backpack, the documents, camera gear. Uh, and here's me with the snacks and food. Looking like I am fully Yeti sponsored, but I am not. Oh, we are going to push these bikes. We're going to see how far we can go, how fast we can go. We are definitely going to miss our deadline and we are going to be hot. Just got to ride faster. Nikki's got a uh, more comfortable saddle. She's got a bigger battery. I got the, the sport saddle. I got the small battery. I'm as light as I can possibly be. We'll see what happens. Okay. I'll be back. I left my phone on the boat. Go, go. Oh well, we're definitely not making that seven o'clock flight now. The funniest part is he got my phone for me and put it in my bag, but he didn't get his own. Oh, that was a long run. Okay. Directions. Okay, we go out here and we turn left. Okay, sorry. I'll take my Hello. time, dear, just to keep you around here. I doubt. No, they say you can't keep the clouds away. Hello. Wondering if you wanted to tell people what the hell we're doing. Yeah. So it's a school rush hour now. It's got a little bit busy but we have a 30 km ride to the airport. And the reason we're going to the airport is our visas are about to expire. And I, I don't like to make anybody look bad, but man, the Philippines, they have this online system where you can renew your visa online and it just happens to not be working right now. It won't allow us to renew. So now, the only way we can renew is to ship our passports and our documentation all the way back to Subic, to our agents, APM or uh, SEAL Super Yachts, so they can then take it to the government office, fill out all the documentation with them, and then ship everything back to us. Meanwhile, we don't have any idea where the hell we're gonna be. We don't have any idea how, if there's even an airport at the next islands we're going to. So when are we ever gonna get our passports back? It's crazy. We yep. should just be able to like have a video call 
They do it online normally. Why can't they just like have a video call with us? Ah, it's frustrating. Yeah. Anyway, that's then, why we're on our bikes on a 30 kilometer ride. Yes, because it was either we ship them back or we get on a plane and go to one of the immigration offices, which would be like Manila, Subic, or Porta Princesa. It's only a few locations. We're near none of them. Pretty wild. 40 kilometers an hour. Ooh. Now we could have hired a courier and spared ourselves this trip, but we were already super nervous about sending off our passports. So adding in one more set of hands seemed like a bad idea. And we could have hired a car, but the opportunity to test our bikes and our bodies was just too tempting. Ah! Morning. Morning. That was 10 Ks. We got another 20 Ks down this road. It looks like it's dirt. We were told it's paved all the way, except for like one little odd five meter section. So hopefully this is the only. Five meters? Five meters, five. Yeah, she said it was really small. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, camera on. Here we go. Head north on Corinth. Boost along the road. It's paved. I was very short. Yeah. Running. Oh, I look like a giant. Yeah. Hey, hey. What? Oh. <laughs> Pay attention. <laughs> the uh, sun is coming up. Starting to get warmer. Whew. And it's still early. And aside from a short trip in Subic, we haven't ridden a bike in almost a year. And that was a trip through the crisp, cool hills of Tuscany with wineries as pit stops. Last one to the top doesn't get any wine. Oh. So this is going to be a different kind of adventure. And our weather forecast blazing sunshine and very hot. Hit those hills and you're grateful for the assist. turbo pedal assist. <laughs> Whew. Still doing 18 kilometers an hour though. Feels like we're going so slow. I know. Check out this big hill. Well, let's see if I can do this one handed. Sweet. Spin it around. Yep. That's what we're about to go up. Woo. Yeah. Feel the bird. <laughs> I had no coffee. No coffee. No green. No nothing. Yeah. This is super steep. Don't hit the throttle. About it. Uh, yeah. You can do it. <laughs> she hit the throttle. <laughs> the time yet. Yeah, I think we could drink our AG1. We're not gonna make the seven no matter what. This will be our breakfast, our coffee, our <laughs> hydration. Yeah, I think by the time this day is over, I'll be lucky if I can walk. <laughs> <laughs> While we take a break, this is the perfect time to say thank you to AG1 for sponsoring this video because we don't have a lot of consistency in our lives. I mean, it's just part of boat life. We are rarely in the same place for more than a week and we are lucky if we make it to a market once a month. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is the extent of our fresh food on board right now, a little scary why we are thankful for AG1 because it is the easiest way to fill in our nutritional gaps and it's boat friendly. I mean, first of all, it's super lightweight and easy to store because this is a one month supply. So we can carry several months all at one time and we just double up on our orders whenever we're somewhere with an address like a marina or we ship it out to a friend who's coming out for a visit. But the thing that we love the most is just how many things are all in one scoop. It's our prebiotics and probiotics, vitamins, minerals, superfoods, and whole food sourced ingredients that help support our immune system, our gut health, energy, skin, hair, and even adaptogens for stress. Plus, it is third-party certified, which means what's on the label 
is actually in the powder. No funny business. It's got a lovely tropical flavor. So it's the first thing that we reach for in the morning and the perfect start to our day, no matter where in the world we are. So if you want to give it a try for yourself, just click the link down in the description box below or scan the QR code on the screen. And AG1 will give you a year supply of vitamin D3 plus K2, which is very good for your heart and your bones, and five travel packs for free with your first purchase. Well, it's 7.30. We definitely missed our seven o'clock. <laughs> so hopefully there is another flight today. And the phone says we have about eight kilometers left. Well, I'm not very good at math on the fly, but let's say three quarters of the way there. Hopefully that was the last big hill, although looking ahead, I see another mountain. Yep. How you doing? Good. Awesome. Hey. <laughs> yeah. In the Philippines. <laughs> yes, beautiful, beautiful morning. Where are you going? Airport. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's the right way, right? I know. It's minutes. <laughs> Perfect. Bye. Bye. Everybody's so friendly here. Uh, I love it. Hello. Good morning. <sighs> they might not have the visa thing down, but they definitely got the friendly thing down. Oh, man. No joke. And let's be honest. The whole visa thing from country to country can, some places are so easy and some are so difficult. And in the grand scheme of things, you know, it's something that's so specific to a long-term traveler or to a sailor. Yeah. So it's not exactly something that like the average, you know, holiday person or typical traveler has to deal with. So it's a very unique case scenario. It's very, so, stressful for us because we only have a couple days before our visa expires exactly because we were you know gonna keep we doing the whole online. online thing but yeah sometimes you know forced adventures that's what this is right like if we didn't plan on this we weren't going to do this but here we are and sometimes these end up being the best adventures of all so here we go we're going faster on your left <laughs> on your left on your left Dude, did you have those guys in your city? On your left! <laughs> Here comes another one. Oh, man. Look at that. Morning! Huh? <laughs> this one's just as bad as the last one. Cargo. Cargo? Yeah, a letter. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Well, we made it, just not on time. <laughs> Clearly something's happening because people are here. The security guard, when I pulled up, he's never seen a bike messenger before. <laughs> he's like, okay, I gotta find a plug and I gotta figure out where to drop off this envelope. I still have half a battery left, which means I could probably make it here and back, which would be right around mm -hmm. 60 kilometers. How's your battery? I have one bar. One bar. I told him, I was like, get the big comfy seat, get the bigger battery. And he's like, no, no. minimalist, one goes super light. I'm like, mm-hmm. Yes, yes, you told me that, but then we tried to get the bigger battery, but they were out of stock. So they only had one bigger battery, so then I gave it to you. Whatever you want to tell yourself. <laughs> That's it. That's what we're sending on a plane. All that drama. Hey. So that was pretty quick. I just came to this yellow cargo building, sat down. They took my <laughs> ID out of the envelope, documented everything, and 
gave us an airway bill, just like you would get if you went to DHL or FedEx. It'll fly out in 45 minutes at 9.30. It'll arrive before 11 for pickup, and it cost me 700 32 Filipino dollars, which is like 15 US or something. Yeah. So that's pretty awesome. Same day service, couple hour service. Five minute service. Yeah, yeah. God. And yeah. And now they're all like, what kind of what kind of bike is that? <laughs> so the guys at the cargo let me plug in the the bike battery, mm -hmm. charge it up. So we'll have about an hour to um, kill. Well, there goes the plane. Airplane. That's the plane that's gonna take off with our passports. Cool. Anyway, they let me charge up the uh, bike battery. We'll hang out here. Nikki made a yummy, yummy omelet. With gouda, peppers, spicy peppers too. And tomatoes. And tomatoes. I never expected to do like 40 and 50 mile or kilometer trips, so. That's the whole point. Yeah. You can go clear across the island. It's like a motorcycle. <laughs> Except on their motorcycles. Like I just saw one go by, had four people on it. I don't think our bikes would do that. Definitely not. There's one that we passed on the way here. And two people and a guy was carrying like a big dog. A big dog, small motorcycle. Oh my gosh, and the girls are the ladies. They sit side saddle. So dangerous. Oh my God. Back on the road again. Bye. My battery was on charge for about 45 minutes. It's showing four bars out of the five bars. I kind of think it's probably like a false reading, but we are heading out. We'll see what happens. I got it set in eco mode for the way back and we'll just go a little bit slower. Overall, visas are only one of the many regulatory requirements. Navigating a life at sea isn't just about dodging storms and looking out for sea creatures. It's a lot of enduring bureaucracy. Hi. Which is fair enough. The average traveler rocks up with a couple of suitcases for a week, but we show up with a floating house. So complexity is expected. No matter the country, we need to be prepared with a mound of paperwork. We've learned to expect anything, including, but not limited to, occasional corruption. Because in some cases, our only way through is a bribe. Requirements and fees vary drastically from country to country, and sometimes even port to port like here in the Philippines. Each location has its own set of fees and requirements. Which is why we decided to send our passports back to Asia Pacific Marine in Subic. They were a recommendation from a fellow sailor and the agency that checked us into the country. So we trust them. Which brings it all back to community. There are websites, books, social apps, and videos that all help connect us because 99% of the time, there is someone who has done it before. And for every form filled out and stamp collected, it unlocks a new destination. Not gonna lie, I'm hot, tired, and I'm thirsty. We didn't bring nearly enough water. And so begins another ascent. Oh, I don't wanna do this. Got this. Oh, I would love some of their dragon fruit. Cold dragon fruit right now. Oh, you got it. You got it. I see the down. Oh no. Two bars to zero. That's Jason's officially out of battery. That means I don't have much more. This is about to become a very long day. What they say this morning? It's either a good idea or a bad idea. <sighs> Jerry's still out. Battery shut down right at the top of the third big hill thing. Uh, I went from two bars to one and then boom off. Oh God. That was a tough, tough hill. <sighs> and I don't think we're probably halfway yet. <laughs> Downhills are always fun! <laughs> Scooter. They all look at us like we're crazy. Because we are! Quick stop. Just totally for you. This is not for me, by the way. Definitely not for me. To show you their traditional 
built houses because I love them the most. They've got grass roofs and they use all the things from the forest because while we were at Ocean Adventure, the local Ida tribe was building one to use as education for Ocean Adventure so that they could talk about how the Idas were the first people in the Philippines and how they've been living in these forests for well over a thousand years. So anyway, it's very cool. Coconuts. Do you have water? No. No soda. Blue. I see water. <laughs> Beautiful view, karaoke in the background. Oh, those are hot. Smells good. Yeah. Lumpia is very much like a spring roll. <laughs> like a fried spring roll. They're very good. Some have meat. We've ordered a vegetable version. This one has cabbage and something in it. Mm. It's good. Potato and carrot and cabbage. Mm-hmm. Yum. Exactly what you needed after uh -huh. 50 Ks. This is my... I just have enough energy to make this last stretch. Five Ks. Uh, it's so funny. I don't think I can do any more. Nope. Nope. I got that much in me, and then I think that would be it. Five Ks and you're done. The, I'd lay down on the side of the road and I'd be like, great, I'll see you tomorrow. We'll finish up then. All I've got is broken memories. This new road. <laughs> Wind is not helping. And not a sight for sore eyes. Oh man. Uh, it's like a horse drawn to water. A horse drawn to water. A horse drawn to water. <laughs> I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> you think we just did a marathon or something? Pay the bill. It's a whopping 350 pesos for a mooring ball. Not bad. Not bad at all. No. Alright. Oh, I've been regretting or dreading taking these bikes down. <laughs> You've been regretting bringing them up and now you're trying to bring them down. <laughs> yeah, my knees are just done. I'm done. I'm done. Ugh. Okay, here we go. Travel the world together, babe. Travel the world together. Travel the world together, babe. Travel the world together. I'm getting too old for this crap. Maybe I should do this too. Oh. There you go. Uh. Make sure we're in the shot. <laughs> wow. Either I'm getting old or that was a hard ride. <laughs> Maybe Yes. <both. laughs> yes. <laughs> Typical me. Um, overly optimistic, underqualified every time. <laughs> I, mean, I, I always push for the most optimistic. Jason's always glass half empty, half full. He's all, I think that's too far. Well, nah, look, this particular route is only like 32, 35. 32 or something, yeah. Yeah, so it means we did between 60 and 70 
kilometers today. The okay. idea was on the way back, we were gonna take it easy because there's these like waterfalls that are on Google Maps and a couple stops. Unfortunately, the couple stops that we were gonna make were closed and then the waterfalls, it's like the end of dry season, so they're not really running, so there was no reason to go see a waterfall that doesn't exist. And Let's be honest, by that point it was hot and we're, <laughs> we're like sitting at the turnoff and we're like, do we? go down this path and then hike 10, 15 minutes to get to what could be just like a dried up pond. Yeah. We're definitely not gonna swim in a dried up pond. It doesn't sound very... No. Dope. So we thought, nah, we'll just keep going and get back. Go for a coconut milk latte. So I think for us with these e-bikes, kind of the maximum distance that we wanna go is probably 40 kms. Yeah, between 40 and 50. Yeah. I think we were very close. And I think the biggest thing is, is that today, like, there wasn't any particular, like, destination. There was no, like, epic resting point, right? Yeah. Or something to do along the way. And that would completely change our day. Yeah. Still tired, but it's also because that's our second, third ride, if you count, like, loading up the factory and, like, the few whizzing back and forth. Like, today was definitely exercise. <sighs> No doubt about that. Yeah, I'm done for a couple days. Yeah. <laughs> do some swimming and some editing and some maybe even crack yeah. open a beer and float around in the water. Oh my gosh, that <laughs> right there. Like this is how you make yourself want to sit down and edit. Oh yeah. Beat you just got to work hard enough so that you uh, want to sit for an entire day or two or three. three. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that adventure to the airport. Yep. We, we will in. bust off this morning. Yeah. This morning. Morning. Oh my gosh. This morning. First thing in the morning. And off to new adventures. Ah. See you then.